Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Speakle, and I've spent the past few hours creating this roster for today's video. We're going to be seeing what would happen if every team only had one position. So as you can see on screen right now, I have a full team of centers. Every team only has one, posi uh, one position. 76ers are all centers, Bucks are all centers, Bulls, Cavs, Celtics, and Clippers are all centers. Then we move over to power forwards. We go down the list, and I think you get the gist of it. All small forwards, all shooting guards, and lastly, all point guards. But how I actually created this roster, so I put all the centers on, and then to actually make the teams even, uh, it was kind of like a, a fantasy draft. Uh, so for the centers, 76ers, they get the best center, and then it goes down in order. They keep taking the best center until our last team, the Clippers, and then they get to pick the next best, best center right after that, and then we go back down the list yet again. Some of the centers have actually improved a bit with the point guards and everything, uh, but that is actually how we created the roster. So the teams are as fair as I could possibly make them. It, it was like the Serpentine draft uh, on how to actually pick the center teams, but it was only teams with the centers. Anyways, I think you guys might get the gist of it now. If not, uh, I think you'll understand. We'll just get right into season and see what ends up happening. But smash that like button. This video took so long to actually set up. So go down below. Let's try to hit at least 1,000 likes for this video. Anyways, let's just get right into this. Leave your comment down below on which team you think is going to win. I'll go over them yet again just so you can kind of check out which team. Uh, but which position do you think is going to win? Centers, power forwards, small forwards, shooting guards, or point guards. I think centers are going to end up taking it. I think that 76ers team might be the finals. Or maybe LeBron's team might do pretty well. But I think the center position is actually going to be the best for this competition. I think the, the point guards won't do so good. Uh, but anyways, the conferences are going to be mat messed up a little here. But I mean, it is what it is. Let's just get right into the season. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Okay, so we made it to the end of the season. As you can see, we're on the 76ers right now. They go 63 and 19. Anthony Davis gets MVP, 24.6 points per game, 8.2 rebounds, 4.3 assists. So what it's looking like, my prediction was kind of right. The setters are doing very, very well in this competition so far. Rookie of the year goes to DeAndre Ayton, yet another center getting an award. Dennis Schroeder gets sixth man of the year. Draymond Green gets defensive player of the year. Okay, so he's doing pretty good for the Hawks. Tobias Harris with most improved and Mike Budenholzer with Coach of the Year. The Bucks with the same record as the 76ers, both of them being center teams. So let's check out the all NBA teams right here. Harden, Ben Simmons are going to be the two guards. Then we got Giannis, LeBron, Anthony Davis at that center. We got Jokic, Durant, uh, Kawhi Leonard, Curry, Westbrook, Chris Paul, DeRozan. Uh, so these lists don't actually change much uh, with the all defensive and everything. These are gonna be around the same they're picked by guards but let's just hop right into the playoffs here and check out which teams actually ended up making it okay so let's just go over to standings right here let's go to conference let's check out the east first so our top three teams is going to be celtics bucks 76ers celtics uh, are a center team led by carl anthony towns al horford that's a really good team then we got the bucks who have DeAndre Jordan, Joel Embiid, Brooke Lopez. So Cavs are another center team. Uh, then going over to the Hornets, we actually have our first power forward team right here. Also, some of the teams signed point guards, but I actually uh, just deleted them. I gave them injuries and stuff, so they won't be playing throughout the playoffs or anything like that. The Bulls, yet another center team. Are we gonna get any point guard teams, power forward team? and power forward team yet again right here. So we actually have only center and power forward teams making it in the East. No other teams actually making it. Small forwards were, were the next team. Let's see the worst teams. Shooting guards at the bottom, shooting guards, point guards, uh, shooting guards yet again, and then a small forward team. There's not many point guard and shooting guard teams in the East though. It's pretty dominant by centers. 
Over in the West, we have the Clippers at the top. They are a center team. And then the Grizzlies, who are power forwards, another power forward team, uh, small forward team. So switching it up a little bit here for the Mavericks. Another power forward team, another small forward team, small forward for the Lakers. And we actually get our first and only point guard team in the NBA playoffs. It's going to be the Golden State Warriors, who have Kyrie, Chris Paul, Lonzo Ball. Uh, the rest of their team isn't really the best. Uh, let's check out who did the worst here. It's going to be a shooting guard team again. Point guard, shooting guard, shooting guard, point guard, point guard, shooting guard. So every single power forward and center team actually made the playoffs. They were just completely dominant in this season. Let's just go over to season stats though. I want to see the league leaders. Uh, it's going to be James Harden with 27.2, so still uh, uh, guard position, getting the top there. And then we have a few centers, power forward centers right here. Um, let's go over to rebounds per game. It's actually going to be by Ben Simmons, a point guard, is going to have the most rebounds per game. I guess it makes sense because, as you can see on some of these teams, they have two really good centers. It's going to be harder for them to share those rebounds assists. Goes to a center. Uh, that's not actually a center for some reason. Okay, makes sense. Uh, going over to steals, uh, going to be the shooting guards. I also want to check out team stats. See who scored the most per game. It's going to be the Celtics. Uh, these are all uh, center teams still, so they still score the most per game. Um, let's go over to three-pointers made, of course. Okay, James Harden's team, of course, is going to do it right there. Um, and assist per game. I mean, I, I guess that's kind of what we can check out. Let's just hop right into the playoffs though and see which team ends up winning which of these. I'm guessing it's going to be a team of centers. But let's actually find out. We got like one point guard team in the playoffs. Uh, 76ers have been eliminated, so I was wrong. They were my pick to actually win it, but they end up getting eliminated. So let's keep on going right here and see what ends up happening. So over in the east, we're going to have two center teams at the top right here. Um, Boston Celtics, Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, Celtics with Al Horford. They actually managed to keep them. And then again, two more center teams at the bottom of the list. Then we got the Clippers. I believe they're centers. Yes, they are. Uh, what are the Jazz? Uh, are the Jazz a center team? Uh, let's actually find out. I believe. Okay, they're power forwards. Uh, we also had the Lakers and the Kings, so power forwards, and then the Lakers are actually small forwards. They have Kevin Durant on their team. So LeBron actually not making it, he was on the Knicks, who didn't even make playoffs. So we got a power forward, small forward right there, power forward center at the top there. Let's simulate another round here, see who ends up moving on, and it looks like um, okay, so the small forward team going to get eliminated. Uh, Clippers are a center team, I believe. Let's just check these out in, in the, the front office. So we're going to have Celtics versus Bulls over in the east. The Celtics, a center team led by Carl Anthony Towns. And the Bulls, a center team led by DeMarcus Cousins. Now, if we go over to the west, it's the Clippers and the Kings. So the Clippers, a center team led by Rudy Gobert and Andre Drummond, both 90 overalls. And the Kings are a power forward team led by Kristaps Porzingis. So let's get right in. Let's see who ends up making the NBA Finals. Let's simulate the current round right now. The Celtics are out. It's going to be Bulls versus the LA Clippers, so two center teams right here. Simulate the first game, Clippers go up 1-0. Bulls tied up, 2-1 for the Clippers now. 2-2, Bulls tied up again, 3-2 for the Clippers. And the Bulls game, win came number six, 108 to 1012. So it's going to be going to a game seven in the NBA Finals. Game number seven, the Bulls are gonna take this pretty easily, almost a 20 point lead right here. So the clip or the Bulls are going to be our NBA champions, led by Demarcus Cousins. We got Hassan Whiteside on the team, JV. We can t check out the box score, but look at this—they're just going inside. Big men are just too dominant. If you just had teams of them, it would actually be insane. So let's check out the box score. Uh, the Clippers—they had Serge Ibaka, Rudy Gobert, Andre Drummond. They didn't do two game. 
too good this game. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins always does so good in the NBA Finals. He should end up winning Finals MVP right here, though. And he does. DeMarcus Cousins Finals MVP. He's so good in the Finals in 2K. But there you go. A team of centers able to win the NBA Championship if every team only had one position anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy it don't forget to smash that like button let's try to get a thousand likes subscribe to the channel if you're new turn on the post notifications this has been your boy smickle and i'll see you next time peace never in the same space that we started at throw the ball i run the play like a quarterback i've been up all night trying to make a stack trying to get a plaque and flip a dream into a solid fact I hustled hard for it one day they will notice Chasing in the day